Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rohit and this is the 14th day of the web service integration training. In this session, so we'll talk about that uh, attachment API. What is the attachment API and how we can utilize the attachment API and using the attachment API, what are the functionality we can do. So we'll talk that part today. So without wasting time, let's get started. So let's say that um, I'll talk about that attachment API in both the way. So uh, attachment API is a API that either you can send the data from your environment from the service now to the another environment or you can receive the information from other environment to the service now environment. So today we'll uh, talk about basically scripted attachment API. So for that if we go back to the left navigation and type the REST API Explorer and open that. So using this REST API Explorer and Attachment API, we can create the attachment or we can attach that at any document to any of this record to the service now instance. We can get any details of the attachment API. We'll talk one by one. So if you see here, the, uh, this is the REST API Explorer. Under this REST API Explorer, if you uh, the namespace will be now, and then if you, uh, we already talk about the table API. And if you change that table API to the attachment API, once you change that to attachment API, you will be able to see these options called gate, post, post, gate, delete, gate. So these are the method we are going to talk about that. Very first thing if you see here, there is retrieve uh, metadata for attachment. So this API will return, if you use this API, this is the endpoint of this API and these are the parameter for this API. Once you get the, once you pass these details to this uh, and the sysparam query, and then if you click the send, you will get the metadata of a attachment, like what is the attachment name, what should be that uh, the size, all these details. So let's understand quite quickly. So if I go back to the sys underscore attachment table, and uh, if I do the dot list under the sys attachment. If I let's take an example that I am going to uh, um, uh, search a uh, attachment for the incident table. So I'll search the table equal to incident. And one of the incident have a, let's say this incident have a, these images. Now if I copy this, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 you know, show match, if I start with the show match, you can see there is a two uh, attachment attached to the same incident. Now, if I copy this URL or maybe copy this query simply and go to this attachment API and paste to the sysparam query equal to this one and then uh, change the limit 1 to 10, what will be returned to this attachment API if we query or if we use this attachment API into my personal environment, it will return all this attachment API metadata. What does it mean by the metadata? In this metadata, it will have the image name, type, the table name, the, uh, the site, all this information. Let's uh, click the send button and see that. Once we send that, we can see that I got a 200 as a response. And if I go back, you can see the result. And this result have two information because we do have the two record under this attachment table. So let's review that first table. First of all, it's showing that the site right. So this is the site uh, of this attachment, the file name, the modified count, average email color, uh, CS update, table name, C site, all these informations are available here and created by uh, download link. Everything is available once you use this attachment API meta. So whatever fields is there in this uh, in this table, all these tables, all these uh, uh, details are available to these uh, these responses. So in case that if you know that particular query, let's say that you know that uh, in this incident table, I want to know how much incident, how much, how many attachment is there and what are the name or what are the details. You can simply query to this attachment or this API and get these details. Next talk about that upload an attachment from a binary request. So in this request, we can attach directly a attachment to a particular table. Let's say that using this API, I want to attach some document to this incident, particular incident. I'll get the details. So let's say that this is the one of the incident called uh, the REST outbound testing. So this in this incident, 
I already have a one attachment and I want to attach one more uh, attachment. How can we attach that? Simply for that, what we have to do under this here, we need to pass, uh, this is the, our endpoint. So we are going to select this endpoint. The table name is will be the incident. Then we have to pass this table CSID is nothing but the incident CSID. So we'll copy this CSID from here and then pass there. And then we need to pass this attachment name. So let's say the test.png, I'll select that uh, file name. Now if I scroll down the request type, uh, uh, response uh, format, everything is there. Here you can see that we have the options where we can uh, directly uh, attach this uh, file. If you see this name, it, it is saying that upload an attachment using a binary request. So you, using the binary request, you can directly select any of these file and then pass these two particular incidents. So let's say I'll choose that file and I just select one of the screenshot that I have taken earlier and then I'll simply click send button. So once we click the send button, I will be able to get a response. So you can see I get a, a response called missing parameter content type. So I need to put the content type here. So I'll simply say that uh, the content type example, it's already mentioned that example. So I'll say that uh, PNG and click send. So once I send that, you can see there is a one uh, response I got that the response is the 201, which is nothing but it mentioned that it's created. It means that this attachment got attached to this uh, record. Let's see that if I go back to the incident table and refresh that and see that the, my attachment got attached to this incident table. So this how, this is the another example that how you can attach any document to this particular incident. So first, first we talk about that how can we get the retrieve the meta. So we can get a ret or we can get in uh, uh, or retrieve a meta or maybe the information of the attachment. We can directly upload the attachment and then there is a one, one more option called the benefits, if you see that uh, we have another, um, we have another one called that upload attachment from the multi part. Uh, you can see that this is the another options. So if I scroll down, that what is the benefit between the multi part and then binary? In the binary, you have a builder, you have a raw, you have a binary. These three options. So basically, using this, uh, you know, you can convert this any attachment to the binary format, and then that binary format can be passed through here and then I mean that attachment can be converted to a byte 64 um, and then it can be part. So that's the one part. If I go back to the multi part, so in the multi part, uh, you don't have any options, such kind of options. So you have a options called table name, CCID and directly you have to choose the file. So you don't have any options to convert that file. So both are the similar things just need to be, I mean, just little difference, but their purpose is the similar to upload an att attachment to particular uh, record. Now we have a options called retrieve attachment uh, metadata. So what is this retrieve attachment metadata? So previously, if you see that under this retrieve metadata for attachments, and uh, this is the uh, attachment, what is the difference? The difference, only difference between that, you need to be passed the query in the first data and you get the meta. And here you need to pass the particular CCID of the attachment and you will get the data. So only difference is that you need, you can get multiple uh, meta from the top one, but from this one, you will get only specifically for one um, attachment. So let's say that if I uh, copy CCID here and then pass here, so you'll get only one, you can't get multiple attachments. The only difference is that you can you can get only one data, you can't get the multiple one. So between the retrieve attachment metadata and retrieve attachments, so only that multiple one. Now we have a option called delete and attachment. Using the delete and attachment, you need to pass the attachment CCID. Once you pass the attachment CCID, you, that attachment can be deleted. Let's say for example, so this is the incident, right? So you'll copy the CCID of the incident and search to this under this attachment table. So let's say I'll search here that in the attachment CCID and you can see we have a two attachment. One is the test PNG that I have attached through the API. Another is the uh, strategy uh, PNG that is normally attached. So I'll copy this CCID from here and 
paste this information or paste this CCID and tick send. If we do that using that API, I can able to delete that and then you can see uh, no content 404. It means that this have that uh, response and it got deleted. If I refresh right now, this test PNG is not available anymore. And if I refresh the incident, the test PNG got deleted. So basically using this method, we can delete that attachment. And the last method, the retrieve attachment content. Using that, we can get the content of the attachment. So let's say that we can directly get the content and we can save to our, uh, in our en environments. For that, let's say, I'll copy this CCID called Stata, this one, and then uh, pass here. So if I send that, if you see that the response format, which is nothing but start dot start, it means that I can get any kind of response. And if we click send, I'll be actually get the attachment. So if I scroll down, I get the actual response or actual attachment. You can see that in a, uh, in a binary format called this is the PNG and this already have that. And then I can save this attachment to any of the third party tools uh, uh, or maybe any of the service now tools even. So this way we can handle that attachment. So let's say that you have two environment to service the environment. This is the one service now, another service now environment. And once the ticket got created, you can handle this one. You can do that. Okay. So basically what we have to do once the incident will be created, you can just retrieve that incident uh, attachment and you can just attached based on their society so that's it for today if you have any question let me know in my comment section thank you very much have a great day